Hello boaters, I'm Brian from Boat Canvas Factory. You can find me on BoatCanvasFactory.com, Boat Canvas Factory YouTube. I wasn't going to make this uh, video of this aft sunshade because it's not that popular. And then I thought, well, what the heck, let's try and make it more popular. So I'm going to bring a new design. This is our first time doing this design. This is a Regal 36XO. And this is our first aft sunshade where we're actually going to the swim platform. So here's the mount that we added. This is a nice cover plate for when you're not using it. We usually use um, Mate Series rod holders, but we're using this. So you slide this out, and you can see the five quarter 20. Those are through bolted um, quarter 20s. And then you take the, the slide in mount, and you slide that in place. Now what's different about this sunshade 86 inch poles. The reason for the 86 inch poles is this is our standard 83 inch height. Just like the center console on hardtops that I've made a lot of videos of, they're usually right around 83 inches. That has a 13 inch step down to the swim platform. So I'm usually putting my poles in gunnels so I could get away with you know 50 54 inch poles well this pole you know it's it's a little bit taller than this but when I drop down 30 13 inches I needed 86 inches to get this this height that I required now I, I believe I have approximately a 12 inch pitch from this hard top to that pole. Let's set this one in. There we go. Now the shade is done like we always do them with our quick release mount up on the hard top. Just clicks in, easy as that. Go to the other side, pull the canvas up, click it in, easy as that. Grab your string, the rope in. Pull that tight, wrap my string around the cam cleat, make it look nautical. Grab my rope end on this side of the sunshade. Now you might be thinking, why did I go so high? This thing is towering over my head. Okay? So, it looks like Geez, it went too tall. But watch, when I step up here, I'm six foot three, the customer's six foot one. He picked this height because the other thing that you have to consider when you're doing the height on something that steps down is you go to the helm. Now, if you go to the helm and you look out, if you go too low, you'll hurt your visibility if boats coming up behind you. So we've blocked no visibility in the back. We got a good headroom here. Now I'm going to show you something else because right now this is facing east and it's 1130 in the morning. So the sun's really coming in here. I'm in the shade here, but there's still a lot of sun in the boat. So you can't count on doing this with every single sunshade, but if you have a zero degree rod holder application which is pretty much what this is you could take it out of the top pulley and I use these racing cam cleats that actually have a pulley in them you see that now I could pull that tight lock it on I got a lot more rope to wind up now 
and go to the other side. Actually, it looks pretty good like that. You could do um, one side if you wanted. You know, if the if the sun, you know, say the sun was coming from that direction, you could leave. See how there's it's pretty. There's no wrinkles or anything. And if the sun was coming from that direction or this direction, you could lower one side or the other. But I'm going to show you lowering both sides. People often like to say, I want to use this to protect my boat. And I always tell them, no, this is a sunshade. It's exactly that. It's to put you in the shade for when you're on the boat. You cannot leave these up if you're not on the boat because with not enough pitch and it rained hard, they could actually puddle water. But if your shade does this, look, that's a three foot pitch. From here to there is a three foot pitch. Water is running off of here like Niagara Falls. So if you wanted to set it up like this and, you know, go have lunch or dinner and not worry about it raining, you could actually you know, be comfortable leaving your boat with this set up. I don't think it's a good idea to use it to protect your boat because if the wind really gets violent, like in Florida here, sometimes you'll get a 50 knot microburst wind come out of nowhere and it would, it would bellow a lot with a, a 50 mile an hour wind. But you know, the water's going to run off. So if you were on the boat and it started raining and you were up high, drop it down. Now you can still sit here in the rain and it's funneling off the top just fine. I'm glad we took the time to bring this video to you. And so, you know, people that have a boat that, cause this boat really doesn't have a good place to put a rod holder. There's no access here. And you know, I won't drill blindly to put a rod holder and I have to know what's in there, you know, before I will drill and there, it was hollow underneath. We could actually through bolt all the way to the bottom of the swim platform. So I felt comfortable bringing this shade all the way aft. So for you people with this style boat, give us a call. No matter where you are, we can ship you those mounts and you know instruct you on how to install them. We can walk you through to determine the height and length of your poles. And then we can walk you through how to take the measurements to build you the shade. And we also walk you through, you know, we send you, we actually send you the drill bit, the screws, everything to install this mount. And we take the time, so don't be nervous. No matter who you are, if you think you're not handy, it doesn't matter. I've walked hundreds of people through the installation and measurement of these sunshades, basically all over the world. And um, they're all turning out perfect. So believe me, I will take my time and get from you what I need to make a shade is if I took the measurements myself. So it doesn't matter, you know, if you have a center console with a hard top or a boat like this, give us a call. We'll talk to you about your options and help design you a sunshade that'll make your boat more cool. So thanks for watching another video. I'll have all the information linked below in the description. Have a great day.